Hello, everybody. This is a pick a card reading for today, April 5th, Tuesday. You pick a card. It is your main energy, but the cards are for all of us. I pull them all together, and April 5th, babies, will do your reading next. All right, so if you pick card number one, you have the Four of Swords. For some of you, you may be taking time off. Um, there is a sense of being separated from someone or something. Um, this is just a temporary uh, break or temporary separation or temporary time off. So I do feel that energy. You know, this is also um, a time to just kind of relax. Definitely seeing that. Now, you could feel that something is just slowly blossoming, and this is your abundance that we're talking about, but it is, okay? So it does take time. Um, there is abundant energy coming through, but it takes time to blossom. That's what I'm picking up here, too. All right, so, yeah, there's a sense of being a little bit moody today. Maybe you had a nightmare or some kind of significant dream. All right, um... Card number two is Ten of Cups. There's a lot of love here. A lot of love. When you let go of something, I think you're going to be leaving or changing your mind about um, something that maybe you emotionally held to your heart. Um, <clears throat> or you feel neglected. Um, or something may not come through. And it's not going to turn out the way you thought. Okay? There is a significant person here who is very supportive. There's a lot of love around you today, too. To me, there's some kind of wish fulfillment. It's all there. Just a sense of very, um, a very happy energy. Because something from the past that may have been, um, had a hold over you is leaving, is what I'm picking up. Okay? Card number three is a major arcana of the judgment card. So this is an important day for you. Um, this is a day where I feel that something you may want to do and you may be thinking about it, but you may not do it till later, which would be, I'm going to say six to seven months or eight from now is possible. Okay. So I do feel that energy, the opportunities are there. This is bright new ideas too. You got rebirth, but slow and steady wins the race is what I'm feeling here too. Okay. All right, uh, Four of Swords, Ten of Cups, and the Judgment card. There is an undertone of anxiety, anxiety. Um, some of you may be going on a blind date or a date or um, needing to communicate with someone and there's a sense of anxiety or you're worried about making some kind of an agreement. They can't be something to do with official agreements. Maybe you need to sign something or approve something dealing with contracts, documents, or even legalities, and there's a sense of anxiety, okay? Um, I do feel that energy for some of you, okay? Partnerships, um, forming, str uh, strengthening bonds is definitely coming through. Something is not still clear, so um, something is on divine timing. You're going to have to follow your intuition. There is something that we are going to be leaving behind, and I feel this is like walking away from something, um, or others, too, may change their mind around us about something. Slow and steady definitely wins the race. I do feel that energy. Now, there is a little bit of keeping to ourselves, especially any information that we get, um, doing our research, invest, uh, investigating things. It's very important because they can be, be careful, plagiarism, or someone stealing your ideas, and they can be someone um, deceiving around. So I do feel that energy, too. Uh, success, fame, fortune, for some, I do pick up. And I do pick up here a strong completion. And it's going to be satisfactory. Okay, so I do feel that energy. There is something here that we need to take more action on. Okay, so something is going to start moving fast, too. Um, there's a focus on a happy family. Um, joy, happiness is coming through. Beautiful new opportunities are here. Um, there could be an, uh, uh, really a thought on someone you know, in our circle today. I do see also um, a good deal coming through. It could be something financial. Luck is on our side. I also pick up earth sign energies. Could be dealing with Taurus and Virgo today. Okay? All right. That is the reading for today, uh, Tuesday, April 5th. I hope you have a wonderful Tuesday. Happy birthday if you're born today, April 5th. A quick and general reading. Solar, your theme, wish card. Solar, your theme is the nine of swords. All right. There is a lot of things that are going to be blessings in disguise. This is a year, too, to watch your health and well-being is what I'm number one seeing, too. Be careful of um, people with colds. 
getting rest, uh, stress, all of that. So I do see that. For some of you, we'll have some kind of a major surgery this year. Um, and this could be just as small as, you know, just dental work. Or for some of you, it could be a major surgery that's going to help you out. And this is a very general reading. Remember that, okay? Um, so I do feel that energy. The door to spirit is definitely open. So this is a new a spiritual awakening coming. This is a year of may, not retracting, beating yourself up over some things, looking back. We learn our lessons. We move forward. There are blessings in disguise coming through and a lot of help around you. So I do feel that energy. Okay. Um, for some of you, it's like uh, worried about politics, the world around you. I don't know. There is something like that. Uh, world news. So stay. Uh, it may affect you more. So stay you know, kind of edit it, you know, kind of like to fine tune it. Don't believe everything you hear. Um, there is success and um, opportunities out there of significant travel. You need to balance your yin and yang this year too. There is a significant female showing up too. I feel um, this person has creative solutions. And um, also there's a lot of thoughts that you're going to have a lot of a change of mind and thoughts and a lot of thinking this year. You're going to realize where you have tied yourself up and feeling um, stuck. So this is a time to break and uh, yourself free is what I'm feeling. But patience, you could be very impatient. That is another thing. Uh, follow your intuition. Um, there is that opening up, not just seeing, hearing, feeling, but also that sixth sense is showing up too. So follow your gut. Um, I do see that there could be a significant separation. You're needing to get extra rest this year than usual. Um, I do feel that there's going to be some important um, decisions to make and needing to express yourself, letting something off your chest. Opportunities are coming through. I do see also um, future financial plannings. This could be a significant interview or um, talking in public. Um, that's going to be successful. You are going to have some endings and starting over again. Okay, so I do see that. Be careful of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. So, you know, don't go to places that you're not familiar with or something like that. Um, focus, focus when driving, all that, because there's a sense of you could be a little bit more accident prone this year too. Um, I just feel it's mostly you're dwelling on disappointments and there's major changes that are coming up and that could be a little unsettling for you, but there's going to be a significant um, celebration or a get together or some kind of a seminar. Um, I do see with love, there is a healing energy too. And I do see that there could be a lot of like opportunities and there may, and don't get your heart set on one, you know, one step at a time because there, this, this could be just something brief, nothing that lasts long term. You have a lot of scattered energy with people around you too. Okay. All right, now the wish for your soul year is a five of pentacles. All right, what I'm seeing here, one, for some of you, this wish can come to fruition somehow in a way you're not expecting in the next present to three next three days is what I'm picking up. But there is fate here. For some, it's a no. For others, it is in the beginning. It's a, it's a very strong new beginning. It's faded energy. And this is a new beginning of something. A new door is opening, like a door of value, new job, new money, new financial beginning. Something of value is showing up. Okay? It's an adventurous tone to this too. The important numbers for your solar year. 10, 3, Two, four, nine, five, zero, and four. I ho 44, I meant to say. I hope you have a wonderful birthday and a blessed solar year ahead. Everyone else, a wonderful Tuesday, and bye for now.